More breaking news to cover on this busy Wednesday afternoon on Ravens Rundown. Tyler Jones here as Rashad Bateman has been activated from the pup list. Also, Broderick Washington has a brand new contract extension. We'll break it all down for you. Let's start with Rashad Bateman. Not only was activated from the pup list, but also practiced today, his first time back in several months. And if you've been listening to this show, we told you a few days ago that everything looked like Bateman was on track to make his return within the next few days. And today happened to be that day. And that's very good news for the Baltimore Ravens, the much-anticipated return for Rashad Bateman to the football field. If you remember last year, after a few games, he was done for the season with a Liz Frank injury that sidelined him for most of 2022. Now he comes back, and Rashad Bateman, the situation he's in now is much different than what it was a season ago. As he went into last year, the expectation was, with Hollywood Brown gone, that Rashad was going to have to lead that receiving core and be the guy and have to carry a lot of weight on his shoulders. And now, you fast forward to this year, and since the injury to Rashad Bateman, the Ravens have added the likes of Odell Beckham Jr., Nelson Aguilar, and Zay Flowers. And those three other receivers, not to mention how good your tight end room is with Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely, and Charlie Kolar, but just the receiver room alone, all three of those guys, we've heard nothing but good things from for their impact this offseason, the way they performed. Nelson Aguilar has been a huge surprise how well he stepped up to the plate. Zay Flowers has been arguably the star of the offseason for the Ravens. And then OBJ, sure, he's had a few days off here and there, but when he's been active, when he's been a full participant, he's looked really good, and he's flowed with uh, Lamar Jackson. So this is great for Rashad Bateman. He might not be the number one receiver, uh, but you know what? Whatever role they find for him, he is going to be very valuable for this receiving core one way or the other. Last time we saw Rashad Bateman on the football field last season, he had 15 catches for 285 yards and two touchdowns. The year prior to that, in 12 games played, he had 46 catches for 515 yards and one touchdown uh, there in 2021. Both seasons were shortened up by injury, did not play uh, the full season in either year for the former first-round pick out of Minnesota. So before we get to the Broderick Washington news, let's start with Rashad Bateman and tell us what you think. What's your one-word reaction to the return of Rashad Bateman to the practice field for the Baltimore Ravens. Give me one word to describe it all. My one word is finally Rashad Bateman's back. Thank goodness. I'm glad to see him back, and hopefully he has a big impact on this Ravens team as far as I'm concerned. Give me your one word reaction in the comment section below. Folks, this is why you subscribe. Look, I mentioned in the last video, today's my day off, but still finding time to make you guys videos here to tell you what's going on with your Baltimore Ravens with the latest happenings and your favorite team, we got you covered. Not only do we do these at-home videos when we have breaking news and our daily news and rumors segments in the studio and everything, but we're going to be with you coming up on Saturday night for the Ravens versus Eagles game and doing a live watch party here on the channel. If you've never seen our watch parties before, you are in for a treat. We might have a few drinks on hand. We're going to have a fun time. Going to react to the Ravens game in real time something that you've never seen before. It is going to be a lot of fun. I can guarantee you that much. So subscribe to the channel now. Stay alert. Stay tuned. Keep your notifications on. That way you're the first to know what's going on with your Baltimore Ravens. Now to the other side of things. Broderick Washington. Let's touch on him. The new deal for Broderick Washington is three years, $17.5 million with about $10 million guaranteed. And we had told you over the last few weeks that based on the way the Ravens had moved some money around and different things, that they had some flexibility to spend a little bit. Not a whole lot, but spend at least some. And one of the things I told you was that I expected Broderick Washington to go ahead and get that contract extension, to stay in Baltimore for the foreseeable future. And that is the case here with this three years, 17 and a half million, 10 years guaranteed. Uh, and we've seen Broderick Washington play 
uh, very well. Uh, 2020 fifth round pick out of Texas Tech and Broderick Washington in his career to this point. Last year, played in all 17 games, started in nine games, and had a breakout season, his best season yet. 25 total tackles uh, by himself, 49 combined tackles, uh, had one sack, six passes defended. Uh, he was a bigger impact than maybe what these statistics show, but this is a nice signing because the deal with Broderick Washington was that if he was going to have a season similar to what he did last year, or even better than what he did last year, this upcoming season, then that price was going to jump up quite a bit, significantly more than what the Ravens just paid him. So for Baltimore, this is really good news that they took care of this now and not have to pay more later. Because remember, you still got to figure out the Patrick Queen situation. There's other guys that are going to be wanting their checks next offseason. So they are betting on that what they saw from Broderick Washington last year was not a fluke, that he's going to continue to do this for the next several years. I think it's a good bet on the part of the Baltimore Ravens to go ahead and go through with this with Broderick Washington and get this deal done. I like it for Broderick Washington. Makes a lot of sense, I think, uh, to keep him around and get him this uh, money that uh, that he's rightfully earned as far as I'm concerned. I really like it for him and to keep him with this Baltimore Ravens team for the next three years makes a lot of sense. And, you know, he, he was talking in his press conference about it. He said, I'm happy to call this place home for the next three years and how proud it made uh, his mom and his family to be able to do this. Um, you know, that he wanted to share the whole moment with, uh, with, with his family, with his mom. Uh, she was one of the first people to find out about this news. So pretty cool for him. Broderick Washington, great guy. Um, he, he went on to say some of the effective too, would mention his mom. I'm glad my mom wasn't here. I would have cried. Uh, so very cool from Broderick Washington. Great guy. Great to see him get paid and stick around for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, on that front. What would you grade the extension for Broderick Washington? To me, I, I, I think it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and take care of this. It is a bet that's worth taking go right now as far as I'm concerned. Put a grade on it, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know what you think of the grade uh, for the extension for Broderick Washington. Let me know what you feel in the comment section below. Folks, thanks for joining us on this special edition of Ravens Rundown. Stay tuned to the channel. We'll have you covered uh, throughout the rest of the week with everything that's going on with your Baltimore Ravens. Don't miss out on our watch party coming up. Uh, it will be on Saturday night for the Ravens game against the Eagles, and we're going to have a lot of fun. You will not want to miss out on that. Stay tuned to the channel. We got you covered. Give me a follow on social media as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook threads as well. It's all the same at Tyler Jones Live. You can find me there. I'll see you next time right here on Ravens Rundown. Appreciate you joining us.